This is lesson 40, uh, graphing absolute value equations and a little warm up here, writing the piecewise uh, function of the graph that's shown. So we've got, if we want piecewise, where f of x equals, and we look at our constraint. Let's call this one our, our blue line. So our constraint is x values that are less than negative 2. So x values that are less than negative 2 is our constraint. Now that's a horizontal line, so our equation is y equals 2, or f of x equals 2. Uh, our next graph, we'll call our red graph. We can see our constraint here is x values that are greater than or equal to 2 because I've got a closed circle. And, uh, sorry, negative 2. Negative 2. Uh, we can see that our y-intercept is negative 4 and it looks like we're going up what are we going up 4 over 1 so our slope is 4 so our equation would be 4x minus 4 for x values that are greater than or equal to 2 uh, home more questions we'll do in class and today is lesson 40 uh, graphing absolute value uh, equations. So this is the vertex form of an absolute value equation. Y equals A times the absolute value of X minus H plus K, where our vertex is the point H and K. And because our general form of this says minus H, then our vertex is actually the opposite of whatever it says inside of there. So we take the opposite of H and we take K as is. We've got a slope, which is our A value, the number out in front of our absolute value symbol. Uh, X and Y are the vertex for, or H and K are the vertex. And uh, X equals H is the axis of symmetry, and so that's just a vertical line that goes through the vertex. If the graph is positive, then it V's up. It would look like this. And if it's, uh, and what we, if A, if the, our A value is positive, then it V's up. And if our A value is negative, then we V down. And we'll talk about that here as we go. So our first example, graphing the, uh, graphing the equation. So we can look at this and we can see that our vertex is the point, the opposite of this, so it's negative two and whatever our k value is, so our vertex is the point negative 2, 5. So negative 2, 5, which is right there. And that means that we have an, a, uh, an axis of symmetry that's the equation x equals whatever our x value is, so that's negative 2. So we can draw in our axis of symmetry, and that just means it's going to cut our graph right down the middle and make our graph symmetrical on both sides, so it's going to look the same on both sides of the equation. So then from here, we look at our slope, and our slope is 2 thirds, so that means we're going to go up 2 and right 3. Now, if I went up 2 and right 3, now I'm on one side of my axis of symmetry, so I can go up 2 and left 3, and find its symmetrical point. You can see how both of those points are three units from the axis of symmetry. So we could do that again. We can go up two and right three and put a point, and we can go on the other side and go up two and left three and we have a point. And so there's our graph. We can label this. We say our vertex is negative two, five, and we've got an axis of symmetry, our AOS is x equals negative 2. Our next example, doing the same thing, we look at this and we say, okay, well, this is negative 5 and a negative 4, so my vertex is 5, and I take k as is, so 5, negative 4. Uh, so 5, negative 4 would be over 5 and down 4 right here. And we can see that our axis of symmetry would be the point then x equals 5, or sorry, the line x equals 5. So we've got an AOS of x equals 5. We've got a vertex. I'm going to write this on the other side. A vertex of 5, negative 4, and then we have our slope, our a value is negative 3 here. So that means we're going to go down 3 
and write 1. Now because of our axis of symmetry, we could also go down 3 and left 1, down 3 and right 1, down 3 and left 1, and we're staying the same distance away from our axis of symmetry. And notice how our a value here was negative and we said that it v'd down before our a value was positive and it v'd up. See how our, our a here was positive 2 thirds, so it v'd up. And now our a is negative 3, so we v down, we go down 3 over 1. So you guys try this one. What we do is we should say that our vertex is, well, I've got a point there, but I don't have anything out here. And because our general form is y equals a times the absolute value of x minus h plus k, because our general form, this is a positive k out here, what can I add to this and not have it be anything, or not have it change my equation, so it's a k is a zero there. So my vertex is the opposite of h, and whatever our k is, in this case it's zero, so negative three is zero is our vertex, and then that means that our axis of symmetry is x equals negative 3, the vertical line that goes through there, our AOS is x equals negative 3. Um, we can find our slope, our slope, our a value, now that's a is out in front, right? So if there's nothing here, but that's multiplication. So what can we multiply by and not change our equation? We can multiply by 1. So our a value is 1. So that means we're going to go be going up 1 over 1. So if we're going up 1 and over 1, we can also go up 1 over 1 in the other direction. And we've got our line. We can label our vertex is negative 3, 0. All right.